What's up, Dan Blute here, and we're gonna talk today about the doppelganger test, which is a test I made up. Uh, and it's about comparing yourself to another person in another universe, you in another universe. And what this test means is if I did all these things better, if my twin in another universe did everything better than I do, would he be a better ball player than I am? All right, so stick around. We're gonna cover that today, it'll be fun. If there was another version of you, which one of you would be better, right? And so this was a mindset that I had throughout my time in baseball, and it was just predicated on the fact that I knew that if there was another me in another universe, my doppelganger, what if he had stronger forearms? Is he better than me? Stronger legs, is he better than me? Runs more. Is he better than me? So here's the thing with the doppelganger test. You just have to be honest with yourself. You know, a lot of people aren't. They wanna, they wanna take a rosier picture of themselves than really exists. And when you're honest, then you can start to make progress. Be like, look, there's a lot of things that I need to work on. A lot of things. And let's pick one of them, and let's get better, and let's just move forward with just this one first step. And uh, something, sometimes that's all you can do but that's the first thing that it takes. If he eats better, if he eats healthier food, is he better than me? If he studies the game more, is he better than me? If he has more core strength, if he's constantly working on perfecting something, is he better than me? Flexibility, speed and explosiveness. If he's more explosive than me, if he sprints more, if he does all these things, Who's better, me or this guy, right? So this is the mindset that I took. This is a mindset that I took every day I was auditing myself. So what does the word audit mean? Audit means to take a record of what's going on. You know, you do it with your taxes. If you, the IRS smells that you might be doing things illegally, they might audit your taxes to see if everything's in line. Is everything in line with you as an athlete? That's the big question. So. If there was a me in another universe and he runs more than me, if he eats healthier than me, he studies the game more, he studies film, right? He, uh, he's squatting 500 pounds in the weight room versus me squatting 400. He's got super strong forearms, right? He kills his arm care, you know? All these things, does he throw a mile, mile per hour harder than me from this, than from that? Is he more flexible? Does he transfer power better? He's more explosive. Does he get more of his gym strength expressed into each pitch? You know, does his body recover better? Does he sleep better? You know, you know does that help him recover? Does that help him feel strong later into the season? You know, all of these things, if you add them all up, if you in another universe did all these things well, did them better than you in this universe, who's the better player? But a lot of times the big question is what is needed, you know, as far as any given thing, conditioning, strength, like what is needed. It's not to say that more is always better, because it's not. But you have to be pretty honest with yourself and maybe ask others, like what, what is the demand of this sport? And what, how strong do I need to be in any certain area? How good do I need to be? What kind of shape is optimal? Doing more, you can always do more, but doing more always, doesn't always have a payoff. There's a there's a plateau, there's a diminishing returns. So you wanna end up taking the optimum dose of any given training thing. So it's not always about saying, oh, I could lift more weight or I could do this more, I could run more, um, I could eat more greens. You might just get a point to where like, I eat enough or I am strong enough at this thing to where no one could really achieve more if they did more of it. That's, I think, more of the standard that we're looking for. Thank you.